Hello everybody, this is ZigZagZog coming to you from somewhere in this world. We're back to continue our playthrough of Empire Total War with Darth Maud, the 40 unit save version, playing as the Poland-Lithuanian Commonwealth. And uh, had some nice chats with a few of you, finally catching up on some of my comments and replies. And, uh, you know, it kind of pointed out that it might not be a bad eye, bad idea at this point to kind of make make nice with the United Provinces. They're no longer a threat in any way, shape, or form. Uh, as we stand right now with our Saxony Protectorate having expanded into Hanover, we're, we're building up a nice buffer between uh, some other major powers of concern, which could be France, who I absolutely do not trust, uh, Spain, uh, and, uh, well, Great Britain, even though we're friendly at the moment, I've, I've had playthroughs where they've done some nasty things to me and thrown some nasty surprises. So, um, thinking we're going to back off at this point, uh, I'm pushing towards the United Provinces. I think that's a, that's a smart idea at the moment because I have a, a concern down here in the Ottoman Empire. Yes, they're just wandering back and forth. Yes, they're not acting very threatening yet but they have a fair amount of lands down here and they could become a problem and uh, they have a way of making themselves heard making themselves known at very inopportune times so uh, i'm thinking of moving towards the ottoman empire and trying to at least do a quick hit and see if we can take over istanbul push them back over here uh into the turkey area and uh, then see if they're ready to, to settle for peace. That kind of, if I put some kind of a garrison here in Istanbul, that really makes me feel a lot safer on my southern front. And then at that point, at that time, uh, we can see about maybe looking north uh, to Sweden. Or if uh, Russia starts rumbling because uh, Sweden is... is becoming less of an issue or who knows um we'll, we'll we'll have some other options without that thorn in our side down south so i'm thinking that makes our position a lot a lot more solid by doing that so uh what we're going to do is we're going to wrap up this turn with an attempt to make some alliances and sue for peace we'll start out with the united provinces first and see if they're interested and maybe maybe they're not who knows and see if they're interested in some peace at this point. And I don't think I'm gonna sweeten the pot with anything. Let's just see uh, how a straight peace treaty holds up. Never in all my, there are no words to describe this insult. Well, we, we, we can try playing nice. Uh, you, you know, I think it's time for peace. Um, we're gonna try one more time. Uh, with something thrown in. So we're gonna request the piece. Uh, we're gonna look at one of our technologies here, something that doesn't mean all that much, improved animal husbandry perhaps, and see if they go for it this way. And no, the, so they aren't gonna sue for peace, but you know what? Uh, I feel we're in good shape to move away, even with them being at war with us right now, because we have the buffer with Saxony over there. So another thing actually I meant to bring up when we go to move and reposition to declare war on the Ottoman Empire is uh, the silly little Crimean Khanate army because we have open borders for their armies. <laughs> I wanted the money then. Oh well. Uh, they're, they're there unless something's changed. Uh, they are still a protectorate of the Ottoman Empire. So there's a high percentage chance, I would think, that they go to war when we declare on the Ottoman Empire. So uh, it's going to take a couple turns to get this army, which is vastly depleted, and this army that we started moving towards the United Provinces, moving down to the Ottoman Empire. By then, we should be able to move our army out of Berlin. And uh, I'm thinking we'll just kind of march them over and park right next to this army uh, just saying don't you dare and kind of protecting ourselves that way so uh, that's the plan there so I'm going to continue and then now see if we can with some of our other buffer small states here and I'm thinking uh, Bavaria is one 
that would be nice to have an alliance with. And, and even if the alliance doesn't pan out, uh, we're going to try as much as possible as keeping this very friendly opinion going and working with them. Because uh, sometimes they aren't always up for an actual alliance. You never know. Um, but we'll, we'll try it out. And we have it with Bavaria. So we got our, our buffer to the north complete. Uh, well, actually, not quite complete because I'm thinking I'm going to add one more buffer to it. If we can get a, an agreement with uh, Württemberg, um, let's go for it. All the, the, the more buffers we have, the better. Let's see if we can request an alliance here. They're also a very friendly, so maybe they're going to be prone to, to do this alliance. And we have our military alliance here. So we got all sorts of small buffer states uh, that are allied with us. And there's one more I'd actually like to, to bring on board uh, is Venice. They are the buffer between Spain. And that's something, there's a, there's a country that we haven't really had any dealings with. Uh, but I don't, I don't trust the Spanish either. I don't trust any of the major powers. Let's put it that way. Uh, so Venice, we're going to try for uh, an alliance there also. Once again, very friendly. They are allied with Spain, uh, but we're trading and okay with Spain right now. So there's no reason they, they shouldn't ally with us. But I want to try it out. And we have a military alliance there. Uh, so our, 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 our buffer states are in place once and for all. And, and that's good news. So we're, we're going to be able to uh, focus our attentions down to the Ottoman Empire next. I'm going to take a, a chance real quick before I forget. We're going to destroy some of these walls around our cities. I, I prefer not playing with the walls just because of the... the stress they put on the game sometimes in the 40 unit save version uh, with the, uh, the amount of units and the walls uh, not always something that play well together and if you've seen some of my other playthroughs or, or my some of my uh, my other playthrough you notice that at times the, the wall battles can get a little glitchy and we've had some frame rate drops even in this playthrough so when I have control of these areas um, uh oh I destroyed the wrong building. There, thank you. We didn't want to destroy you. <laughs> Let's click over here and destroy the walls. <laughs> Bring down those walls. That's what we want to do. And I think that's that's all of them at the moment uh, that really we have of any significance. Oh wait, we got one more here. And there we go. So we'll just uh, be having to defend us in a stronger fashion without the walls to help us out. Uh, but I, I have no doubt that we'll, we'll hold our territories, at least <laughs> that's the way I'm feeling right now, we'll hold them just fine. Uh, so I think that's all we, we, we need to do right now. What I'm going to do is uh, we'll hang on and uh, take a look at what happens after this turn. If anything surprising comes up, we'll let you know. Otherwise, we'll see you on the other side. Well, we're going around making military alliances. Uh, France would love to make an alliance with us, but that would piss off the British. And the British have naval capacity to drop in on my northern coast. Um, I, I'm not interested in, a, in any kind of alliance right now with, with a major power, other than the current one we have with Russia. So um, I think we're going to decline. Okay, we have diplomacy and now also everybody wants to be our ally. Uh, we don't do it with major powers right now. I, do, I have no interest in allying with Spain also and being drug into a major power war. Uh, uh, of course, a major power war that I don't decide to take part in is what I'm saying. So we'll decline here too. All right. So that is our turn here. We got our new recruits here that just uh, uh, we got. In fact, let's just run through here. A nation's been destroyed. Guess what nation that was mid-turn. Thank you, Württemberg. <laughs> the United Provinces are no more. All right. 
Enough of that sad music, because I'm not sad. Uh, recruitment report. Uh, this is the armies we recruit. Oh, we got Navy also, but these are the armies we recruited here in Berlin. We're going to get them moving over to reinforce us right here to build this. start building this army back up. And uh, let's just take a nice, pretty look over here. Look at what the, the, look at what they've done. Isn't that amazing? Um, I'm thinking what we're going to do with this rake right now is we're going to send you over. We kind of got ra eyes up around the Swedish, Swedish, excuse me, Russian border. I'm going to send you through Sweden and then down into Russia. You're just going to go on a long, long stroll, a long march. Uh, just to see some territories we maybe haven't gotten full eyes on uh, that we, we need to be aware of as we take some moves against the Ottoman Empire. And construction report, we continue to build and expand on our farms, which is great for our territory growth, which in turn means our taxes will continue to grow. That's why the farms are important. You may look at each individual farm as, as one of our viewers pointed out and we discussed. They may not look like big upgrades, uh, but they have a huge impact that you don't always realize in getting your population to grow, therefore your tax base in each territory to grow. Um, we're going to get this army moving. Uh, as a matter of fact, this army, I think we're going to move down B, uh, via Vienna. And uh, I may not pick up all the militia, but we're going to pick up uh, some units as we move through uh, Vienna that we had built down there, thinking about maybe needing another army at some point in Vienna. So uh, that's their job. We're going to continue you moving over towards the south via more via Warsaw, and uh, we'll try to do some recruiting on the way to keep you building up and bolstering your forces that way so that's that's kind of what we're looking at as moving our armies are concerned there the crimean khanate moved even closer to my force that wants to keep an eye on them for when we declare war um do i have any other no no more units needing replenishment here this army is for all intents and purposes a full um What I'm thinking I may do is I may take actually two of these pikemen over here and see if we can't send it over with this army. And there we go. And I'm thinking about uh, taking a look at this army and the makeup. We got one, two, three. We got lots of cavalry. I'm, I may get one more Lancer cavalry. And uh, one more artillery regiment over here. So demi cannons are up, and oh, we don't have the lancers over here. Oh well. Uh, so we'll we'll hmm. We got. I think we have enough cavalry. Uh, the light cavalry. What's their advantage? Let's see. Skirmishes and scouting. Now nah, we're just going to go build another line infantry to, to put this army back at 100% full strength. Down in Austria, Vienna, we are going to uh, continue recruiting uh, for this army that's going to be moving down that way. Let's just take a look at their makeup. Um, I wouldn't mind one more artillery piece. Oh, we got some militia floating around in here too. Uh, why don't we move them back to head towards uh, our port back here and monitor our port. And let's get back here. Uh, we do have some pikemen, mostly line infantry. We, we, we could do with a little cavalry bolstering and line infantry bolstering on this army. So let's uh, see how much we can recruit here. Uh, we'll go with a couple cavalry. Regiment of horse is fine. And uh, the rest in line infantry, for starters. And then in Warsaw, let's see what we're up to recruiting over here. Uh, we're gonna get uh, another unit of Lancers over here. Uh, but this, this army in particular, for its size, we're okay in cavalry. So I'm really gonna focus after that purely on line infantry over here. And 
and uh, there we go there. Still leaves us with 4,599 to upgrade farms. Uh, in fact, here's a farm that needs some upgrade. I can't think of anything else besides farms. Oh, we'll, we'll also want to get the roads upgraded. That is something else we will want to address. Um, do I have any other farms? And then we'll start looking at some more significant upgrades. I do have a small town over here that we changed from the military focus. And I want to get that upgraded. And then I see a farm over here and another farm that we don't quite have enough my, uh, funds for. At 739 is what's remaining. And that takes 770. So I think we're done with the, with the building upgrades. At some point, I'm going to need to start upgrading my roads. So... You're going to see where we don't get, and we'll have cobbled roads are okay, but we, we don't have everywhere the, the metal metalled roads built, and they, they just give us the best speed since we're going to eventually be doing lots of moving around and shifting around between fronts uh, at some point. Um, I'm just going to, at this point, let's see, our income is sitting at around 12, almost 13,000. It slowly sinks the more troops we build. When we get a little bit lower, uh, we'll kind of put on the brakes a little bit until we expand a little more, just so we have a solid income to keep our infrastructure improving as we go. Um, I'm going to check my list, make sure... Oh, wait, there is one rake. That's down here in the Ottoman Empire. He's over at the port, and I believe mid-turn I saw the army move actually into Istanbul itself, so let's let's get a peek over there. Oh, he's right next. He didn't actually move into the city. He's right next to us. So we'll stand on the mountaintop here and keep our observations going on this army as we start moving down that way uh, to take them on. It's a significant army, so we definitely do want to have our two armies moving south right now get built up. And I think that's it for this turn. Uh, we'll take a peek up here at Sweden. They haven't really done anything about the Russians uh, ta uh, knocking out their port. Nothing's changed there. And we'll get better eyes through Sweden itself as they, as our rake moves through there. And then eventually we can have someone moving through the actual Russian interior uh, to make sure they're up to no surprising moves either. But uh, we do want to be aware there's a force here and there's a force here from Russia. So... Just because we've been buddy-buddy with Russia and, uh, you know, the alliance has been good so far does not mean they will maintain that alliance. So we have to be ready to react also there should something happen. In fact, do we have any funds here uh, recruitment-wise? If we ever have any left over, just militia. Not going to do it. Okay, that, that should be it. We're going to go ahead and take another turn, and then we will come back uh, when that's over unless there's any surprises in between once again all right this time the ottoman empire is interested in a trade for some of our technology and uh the payment is very measly uh, i'm not interested in trading it for that that kind of funding even though it is a lower tier research item um you know we're going to war there's no reason to do it all right, we gained a new spy. This one over in East Prussia. I still think we'll send one through Sweden, uh, but I think uh, I'm thinking that I, I, I'm going to send this other spy straight into the Russian interior uh, to get us a, a look there a little sooner than we would have otherwise uh, gotten a look. Uh, so let's let's do that. Uh, we also have explosive shells that have been uh, completed. Uh, let's take a look. It's changed over to wedge formation, which is not necessarily my biggest priority right now. So we'll take a look at that. Uh, an enemy agent has been discovered. Uh, he has evaded capture, however. And uh, the Ottoman Empire has sent in, what is this, a gentleman maybe over here? We're going to have, uh, yeah, they're starting to spill over into our territory, playing games with our, our religious... Um, unrest at some point if they if they stay active enough so yeah now is the right time to go against the ottoman empire and 
and we've recruited all those units. That, so that was a nice, nice growth in the armed forces this last turn. Much needed as we head down towards the Ottoman Empire. Uh, just a, f a couple farms have completed, and we gained some traits. A stupid a nephew. Who has the stupid nephew? One of our generals. And uh, a capering loon. So that's good if they're researching enlightenment technologies. Not so much for military technologies. Uh, Korenetsky. We'll go see where he's at. Does it say where he's at? No, we'll, we'll take a look for him. Uh, make sure he's not researching, ideally, a, a, a military technology. So we won't be able to do any more exp uh, sh artillery research until we build our upgraded to the great arsenal. So let's, with our first funds, right in our capital, see if we can't build that great arsenal right now. That way, once it's completed in four turns, we'll be able to go back to uh, explosive technology research. Um, so let's get our armed forces moving. We are back to full strength here. What is this? This is oh, this is our uh, militia that we want to park in the port to help protect the port. This force has not moved. We are at full strength here. Let's see how close we are to being able to move out. Not so much. Are we able to move out? Not so much. Uh, so it, it takes a while when you conquer a major power uh, to get the public order under control. Now, obviously, I could hurt my pocketbook and try seeing how that, and it really doesn't significantly change the public order for the lower classes right now. Uh, so it yeah, doesn't make a difference yet. So what, what we may do is hopefully if, if they stay there, then I don't mind keeping my army here and just venturing out to get them under control. Should, should they join the war when we go against the Ottomans? We'll find out. So anyway, let's keep marching towards Warsaw and then past Warsaw. We have some uh, recruited reinforcements to bring into the army. And we're growing, growing, growing. What we're going to do is uh, recruit some more over here. Let's take a quick look at this army one more time. Uh, cavalry. I'm going straight line infantry right now on, on this next round of recruitment. Uh, to fill out the army that way. Let's take a look towards Austria where we're sending uh, this army. And what's, the, what's the best way to move there? I think it's uh, just as well to move well, it says we can move around this way by staying on the roads. We get just as close on the road. So let's move this way. And uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to we're going to join forces now. leave the one artillery unit at the moment because yeah, that gives us three regiments of artillery there and we really have a significant and, and strong army here maybe uh, we got a fair amount of cavalry so uh, I'm okay with the cavalry um, what I'm gonna do with this artillery piece is we're gonna send it off on its own uh, to try and at some point join up with the army around Warsaw so we're gonna send Send it through the southern route and see if we can't meet up down here along the Ottoman border. We're going to try that out. Okay. Now it's a matter of, uh, let's take a look at that research. Whoops, let's take a look at that research that we went over here to the wedge formation. I'm thinking to temporarily... Uh, take us over to the naval upgrades canister shot it gives us the potential to use canister shot on our navies uh, the longitude watch 
improves our movement range on the campaign map. And uh, since we aren't necessarily going to be the most overpowered Navy in the world, uh, I'm thinking uh, having extra speed to get out of a tight spot might come in handy. So we're going to change this research over to the Navy. And I want to take a look at uh, my researchers. Let me let me look on my my list for that one researcher or gentleman with that one last name, if I can find it. Kornetsky. He's in. Uh, he's there. What are we researching over there? In Graz. And it's not a military technology. So what do you know? That's, that's not a bad thing. I'm fine with it. Even though since, since he picked up that negative trait, I just kind of wanted to make sure we could have refocused his research if he was researching military, but we're okay. Uh, now we got a few funds to spend. Uh, I did notice a few more farms down here. I also, uh, maybe we want to start upgrading another school to help speed our research. And uh, we got another main upgrade here. Oh, 3,000. Yeah, we're, gonna, we're just going to go ahead and do that. And then, then whatever else we can, we can at least get a couple more farms upgraded. And let's see if we have any more. There's one. Over by Breslau. And that'll that'll complete our spending for the turn. Uh, we're going to take a look at our rakes. Yeah, he's not moving back and forth anymore. He's encamped right by the capital right now. Uh, so that one's fine. Let's start moving up through Sweden also. And yeah, we'll make it as far as Copenhagen so far. And then we have new uh, a, a new agent that was recruited in East Prussia. So let's take a look there. See if we can locate our agent. And there he is in the pleasure gardens where all good rakes hang out. And we're going to send him straight towards Russia. Fine. And uh, it doesn't look like uh, our static situation over here has changed at all either. So we're going to keep eyes there. And there's just uh, a lot of potentially threatening things. You guys got to move up and take on Sweden here. My God. Let's get going, guys. Come on. <laughs> don't, be, don't be sitting in our territory over here. Don't be sitting over on our land over here. <laughs> Go do your job up north. Yikes. Okay, I think that's it. I'll take a quick look through my list, and if not, nothing to do, then we'll uh, get moving with the next turn. Army-wise, I'm going to send one more of our militia units up towards uh, the port north of Berlin. Go to and somewhere over here, where did I have our other militia moving up there or is he already in the port he's already in the port uh so we're gonna have somebody join him and some matter of fact just so i don't forget let's move you like this all right we are ready to to move on and get going on the next turn so uh we'll see you on the other side all right france is really insistent about this military alliance they also want some tech out of this yeah, for a payment of 1,000. Uh, once again, the alliance is out. We're not doing it. And uh, Carlos, please hear me loud and clear. No alliance. All right, we've uh, advanced again. Utilitarianism is ours. It's moved it to government by consent. We'll take a look and make sure that's where we want to be. And we have an ally that's been attacked. The aggressor is Great Britain. The defender is Corland. And this is just the site type of thing um, that can throw a wrench into your best laid plans. Because uh, we enter on the side of our ally, Corland, uh, which is our buffer right now between Sweden and us. And uh, then all of a sudden we're at war with Great Britain. And if we don't go to defend them, 
Uh, that hurts our standing as, as breaking on the Lions is not a good thing overall. Um, but he is also allied. So Great Britain is allied with Sweden. That's why they don't care about doing this. Um, well, I, I don't like running out on an ally. That's the problem. But I don't need to be distracted by Great Britain right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to decline the alliance. Hope it doesn't impact other relations that we have going. And uh, we'll, we'll get back to Corland. That's for dang sure. Uh, should Great Britain try to or manage to overtake them. Uh, we will reply. It'll just be a little delayed. Okay, recruitment report, four units. Uh, those were probably up around Warsaw. Memory serves me. We have our, is this our first new, no, second new town has emerged in this playthrough. Let's go find out where it's at. Over here in Lithuania. How is Lithuania looking? It has a coaching in already. Uh, I can already tell you. Uh, let's look at uh, religious standing in this area. It's 70% Catholicism. Uh, so I'm going totally with... Uh, industry in this one craft workshops are being built all right we got a construction report we got some new metal roads built and that is something as a re of a reminder that i'm going to want to construct some more of my own uh, we have them in uh, poland lithuania i'd like to get them built right here uh, if we're going to be doing some north and south maneuvering from the Ottoman Empire. So let's take a look at our infrastructure and uh, get those built. Our income, it was a, uh, I think looked like it was under 10,000. So we're probably going to slow down now on recruitment efforts at the moment. Oh, well, here's where our, our, no, though that's, that's our militia. So this army is going to have to do with uh, the size they're at right now. And where do I want to start the flow down here? We got Sarajevo in Bosnia so we're probably gonna look with our unit down here coming through Croatia coming down this road and, and then start making the move across uh, against the Ottomans that way uh, so let's come down here with the army and they should have fairly free reign and uh, while they move through Sarajevo Belgrade in Serbia and uh, what have we got? Anything to the south we got to worry about? Sofia in Bulgaria. So uh, that army alone should be able to head that way just fine, is what I think. Now, the Ottoman Empire has this territory, has Greece right now, too. So uh, we may have to yeah, pick off these three and then move down to Greece while we have the other army try to keep uh, its main force at bay around Istanbul as we kind of move down through these territories. A big one is, what is the Crimean Khanate going to do? Uh, so let's get things moving and start finding out here pretty quick. Reinforce. Uh, we're, we're over a half stack at least uh, as we start our move south. So let's get going. Maybe what we do uh, temporarily is we park in the fort here and we'll start our, well, now we might as well push right here ourselves and start taking out as many territories as once to impact Ottoman Empire as hard as we can, as fast as we can. So I think that'll be the plan ultimately. Let's see if this artillery piece, how far it can move to catch up with that, the force over here. See, projected income is right around 9,000. You know, I can probably afford maybe just a few more. We're, we're going to go with one more round of line infantry just to help out for sure down there. And uh, that'll do it. We have a 
have a mine here we can upgrade. That may take care of most of our funds. In fact, that's where we'll stop. Get you moving to the port. So we got a couple Somebody. militia units there to defend what? if and when we move our navy out. And we don't have any other more, more ports that have emerged yet. Uh, we'll have to keep our eyes. It'll be interesting to see if the British uh, launch an invasion up here because that will will make things more difficult as we start moving against the Ottoman Empire. Fortunately, we still do have a strong army in the north uh, left back in Berlin. It would totally, totally be a cakewalk if I didn't have to worry about this Crimean Khanate unit over here, and I could move this army south also, but uh, alas, we are un unable to do that right now. Uh, let me take a quick look through our list, make sure I'm not missing anything I want to address. Okay, haven't moved our rake, so we're going to move this rake out of uh, Denmark into Sweden itself. And then we have our rake over in Lithuania. We're going to keep delving deeper and deeper, or I should say get to the Russian border so we can delve deeper and deeper into Russian territory. So we'll just, hmm, we'll just come over this way. Uh, we have a couple trade opportunities that have come up. Uh, we're just going to give them an attempt since we have open port capacity right now. Uh, we're going to take a look at Persia as a possible trade partner. And we have that solved. Let's see if we have the ability to do any more of that. Was it Italian states and Denmark? Um, let's see if we can't support Denmark in their efforts against Sweden right now with a little trade. And we have that trade agreement also. Do we have any other open ports or is that that, that looks like it uh, got us to capacity uh, that time. So uh, we're ready there. What we're going to do is just keep pushing on one more time uh, to another turn. And we should be pretty close to the borders of the Ottoman Empire at that point. All right, we've made it to the next turn. Uh, let's take a quick look at any pop-ups we have. Recruitment report. Our cannon is ready in Brandenburg. Uh, that's a good thing. And uh, the rest of our line infantry headed down south of Warsaw is where they're going to be going. Construction, more farm. The big farm focus is still going. Uh, and we have some technological advances. Our coke blast furnace is, con is finished. And we're going to have to see about upgrading that building so we can continue that line of research. And a spinning mule is done. Both these moved over into agriculture. Uh, so we're going to have to see about upgrading uh, the weavers and uh, whatever this uh, the, the metalworks building is called. I, 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 off the top of my head, I'm not thinking of it. And uh, so we can continue those lines of research also. Well, since we're here staring at our rake heading towards Russia, Let's continue his march to the inland. We'll take this road. And down here near Istanbul, this army is pretty well camped now. Uh, so they, they seem to be anticipating uh, what could be coming and hiding back around Istanbul. Uh, we're going to follow the road down to the south, and we're going to go right up to the border. And what we happen to have here is a weaver's cottage that we're going to upgrade so we can continue our weaving technology. And we got to find for the, the metallurgy, metalworks kind of a building. Uh, let's see where we have a, one of those. Could this be? Now that's a, that's a weaver's cottage also. Weaver's cottage. Iron workshops. There we go. We found one. We need to upgrade it. So it's a good thing we're, we're mostly done with upgrading our troops because <laughs> we, we don't have the funds to do a whole heck of a lot more right at the moment. As a matter of fact, we're going to upgrade the vineyards here. And that's probably going to be it as far as the upgrades go. Oh, we got one more little farm over here. We'll pop that in. And do we have any more farms? Looks like we may have addressed all the farms for the moment. 
Uh, let's continue our movement down to the border. There's no road. To, uh, there's a road right around here to follow. So let's come down to the road. Right here. And let's get this artillery unit through the mountains here. So we can see about catching up over here to the army they're intended for. And we're just about positioned now. Uh, let's see what Berlin looks like as far as public order. That's still, well, we're not going to be able to move out a full army. Uh, I, I would if they end up going to war with us next turn, but guess what? We don't know if that's a, a certainty yet. Uh, we're going to let these recruits move south. I'm hoping uh, these Russian forces that are sitting over on our, our, our lands over here, that really doesn't mean anything because if we go to war with the Ottomans, Ottomans are at war with Russia the last time I checked. So uh, I think the incl inclination would be to solidify our friendship by going to war with the Ottomans rather than the opposite uh, taking place. So I think that's probably pretty much uh, gonna finish our turn. We do have a rake up here in Sweden. We're gonna kind of keep them moving. The one thing I noticed happening in Sweden is they're starting to pull forces along or away from St. Petersburg and sending them up on this road going back in the, in the direction of their capital city. So um, perhaps the Danes are putting up a, a better fight than you one might expect down here who knows take a quick look at my list uh, then we'll take one more turn we may end up having to go through this without a battle just because we are we were repositioning uh, to get down to the Ottoman Empire which you know is always frustrating I always like to get a sneak a battle in there somehow but uh, may not happen this time let me just make sure I haven't overlooked any forces anywhere Oh yeah, these uh, couple of these uh, militia units in Austria. For some reason, I, I, I was thinking I already moved them down, and I have not. I like some ground forces here for in case the navy moves out to kind of protect the port, and we're going to keep that militia down there. And we got a couple, couple, few militia units in reserve, and uh, that's probably about it. Let me just double check one more time. Yeah, and as far as uh, down here with uh, until we upgrade our weaver's cottage and our iron workshops to the iron master's workshops and uh, water powered cloth mill, um, they're we got we have this area covered now, so um, that's fine because at least then when I'm ready to be able to move them back, they're right on the same page, so I'm fine with that, and we are ready. So we're gonna take that one more turn. And uh, maybe what we'll do is at least declare war uh, before we finish this off without a battle because it's, it's, it's we're getting pretty far in here. And once again, we're going to decline for the military alliance with France. And decline the milita military alliance offer with Spain. All right, uh, the craft workshop has been completed in uh, Lithuania. I don't think that's the upgraded building we needed, though. It's just a craft workshop. Oh, that that from the uh, new town that appeared. That's what that one is. And another new town has emerged. Let's go find out where. This time in Minsk, Belarus area. And uh, let's see about the order and uh, what we're looking at here. It's getting to be a, a bit of a clamor for reform. So um, just because this is a small area, I, I think I may go with the Pleasure Palace here because if I want to continue upgrading that school, we're going to need something to offset that clamor for reform. And what better to do that with than a body house? Well, excuse me, a coaching in. <laughs> All right, and, and Corlin's actually been fun to watch mid-turn. Uh, no activity here, but they have a Navy that's been highly active out here. And uh, I think they just moved away from the port here in London, uh, but they had it temporarily kind of blockaded here. Uh, so they're, they're, 
even though they're a minor nation, they've been doing what they can to, to put the screws to Great Britain over there. So what we're going to do is I, I, I don't have time for a, for a battle with all the turns we've had to get through. Uh, but we are, just to get that satisfaction of declaring war, we will get that accomplished this turn. Uh, let's just solidify our forces here. I'm feeling a lot better about this this particular army now. Uh, it was so depleted when we were back over by Berlin. Uh, just in the time it took to get down to the border, we've grown significantly. In fact, we, we are going to have plenty of battles next time to make up. We're going to have this incursion here uh, down towards Moldavia, and we're going to be stepping right into Sarajevo uh, to battle over here. Both those will be in our favor. The question will be, how will the Ottoman Empire respond? That'll be coming up next time. So let's get that declaration of war done and seeing, let's go find out what happens as a result of this declaration of war with the Ottoman Empire. They're very friendly. They're not gonna like this one. We're gonna lose a little bit of trade also, but our income is still positive. Uh, let's do it, declare war. We have a lot of allies, and uh, I am not going to call. I'm not going to risk any of my allies by calling them to war. Uh, besides, Russia is already technically at war with them right now. Uh, da, 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 enemies, yeah, Russia, Morocco, pirates, and Dagestan. So, yeah, Russia is the only one that really matters. So we're not, not going to call our allies here. We'll find out if Persia... Mughal Empire, we, if, if some of these come to their aid, we're going to lose trade agreements. And Crimean Khanate is the biggest one uh, that could be a pain in our side if they decide to join the war. So let's go find out. All right. Alliance has broken between the Ottoman Empire and the Mughals. Trade agreement with Persia has been canceled, so we did lose trade also there. And our trade agreement with the Crimean Khanate has been canceled. The question is, will we be at war with any of those two, Persia or the Crimean Khanate? And we are with Persia, Crimean Khanate, and back again with the Barbary states that we had made peace with. So, uh, that's not so bad. I could, I could imagine it being far worse than that. Uh, we're going to try before we go to see if we can get a trade agreement with the Italian states since that's opened up. And they will do that if we give them measuring tools. Um, sure. And I think that fills up our ports once again. So we, we lost a couple trade nations, uh, several, and we gained one back. Uh, so our projected income is now still decent, 11,384. Um, so what we're going to do is call at this point. Next time, you know, we're going we're gonna to have a battle here. Definitely in our favor. We're going to have a battle here in Sarajevo. Definitely our favor. And we're going to have a battle here. Berlin to get out these terrible forces that uh, we led into our lands. Uh, they're, now, they're now going to pay for being on our lands. Once again, this one should also be in our favor, but they should be a hell of a lot of fun. So uh, this is Zigzag Zog signing off from somewhere in this world. I hope you're able to come back and uh, check out three potential upcoming battles. We'll see if we can squeeze all three into one episode or if we only manage to squeeze in two. We'll find out. Uh, join me next time, though. You'll have to wait and see then. Zigzag Zog says thank you. For watching i always appreciate hearing from all of you and and the feedback that you give me and the ideas you give me and there's something else we're going to take a, a start taking a look at and that is uh potentially renaming some of our forces down here to see if i can start taking requests uh for naming a unit but we'll, we'll, we'll think about that down the road and uh get to that uh next time to see if that's a possibility